I lost you guys. Sorry about that. I'm trying to make my phone so it can see everything, and I lost you all. Okay, let's see if we can get... Oh, crap. Yeah, this ain't very good. I need to get a better camera. Okay, back to the cookies. Anyway, about the size of a golf ball. Glad to see you guys found me and popped back on. So, size of a golf ball, and like I said, you want to roll them because if you don't, they'll come out flat. And you don't want them to come out flat. So, and yeah, it's sticky, but, and I'm not perfect. I don't get all of them the same size, even though I try. That one's a little small. Put some more on it. No, I got too much. <laughs> Am I kind of straight now? <laughs> I am making chocolate chip cookies out of cake mix. They come out really good. And all I took was a, a bag of um, cake mix. I chose chocolate and a half cup of oil, two eggs, <clears throat> and chocolate chips, a fourth of a bag. And now I'm rolling them so they don't come out flat. And like I said, they're gonna cook on 350 for 13 minutes. I've already got my oven preheated. And you wanna make these, like I said, the size of a golf ball so they don't come out flat. And when they get done, I will show you guys what they look like. So I guess I'll have to ramble on for the 13 minutes while they're cooking, huh? <laughs> that sounds a little small, but oh well. We can make up for it. And it'd probably be easier if you used uh, one of the measuring spoons to measure out your dough, but I don't know. I just like playing in the dough, I guess. I've been doing it so many times, I about got the right size for all of them. But these come out so moist and so good. And they're not really cakey cakey, but they're kind of like a mix between a cake and a cookie together. I love these cookies. These are like one of my favorites. And I think the next thing I'm going to do after this, whoop, that one's a little big. The one I'm going to do after this, I think I'm going to make goulash. It does sound good, huh? All right, one more, and we're going to stick them in the oven so you guys can see what they look like when they come out. All right. Ugh. So, that's my cake and my cookie cakes. <laughs> Let's stick them in the oven. 350, 13 minutes. There we go. And they will be out shortly. And then everybody can see how yummy they look. You can use any cake mix you want. I made uh, a couple weeks ago, I made carrot cookies. Because that's what Earl likes. That's carrot cookies and I like the vanilla cookies. My favorite's the chocolate. <laughs> you like goulash? I do too. I love goulash. So I think I'm going to make that for dinner. Um... What do you put all in your goulash, Deb? I only put hamburger, um, stewed tomatoes, pepper, and noodles in mine. And it never lasts more than a day in my house, I'll tell you, no matter how much I make. My son loves goulash. And I'll tell you what, another thing about the cake, the, the cookie batter, the more you let it sit, the easier it is to roll and it don't it's not as sticky. So if you let it set for two or three minutes, then it's not as sticky to roll. It's a little bit easier to roll. So I've got those in the oven. Gotta have my Pepsi and my caffeine. On the same page. Good to hear. I really 
and thankful that you guys all come out to watch. It's very nice of you. Oh, my camera fell again. Ah! I'm trying to get the stove here. I don't know why this thing keeps falling. I have got to get a better camera. Maybe... No. I don't know why it keeps falling. I've got to get a better camera, you guys. This is just not good. It won't stay where I want it to stay. I want it to shoot like... Oh, crap. I want it to shoot like on my stove. And it's just not staying where I want it to stay. Can you guys see my stove? All right. I think you can. Okay. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start my goulash anyway while that's doing that. And the bad thing about this is I don't have a Copper Chef pot, unfortunately. This is just a Faberware. So, this is what I'm going to use for my noodles. But, I am going to use my Copper Chef pan for my hamburger. So, I'm going to get the water. <laughs> Duct tape, that's a good idea, but I think I need a better camera. <clears throat> so I'm going to get the water started, so we can get the noodles boiled. And then I'll get the hamburger started and get that all cooking. Maybe we can do two things in one, cookies and goulash all in one shot. What do you think? And then tomorrow I'm going to have to go get the ingredients for the cake so I can make the cake. Filling the pan up with water here. I need to get one of them 360 cameras so it kind of follows me around the kitchen, I guess. That would probably be better. Or one that sees the whole kitchen. here and I put a wooden spoon over my pot so it doesn't overflow then so my noodles don't stick I put just a drop of oil in the water so that way my noodles don't stick battery's getting low mine or yours probably mine <laughs> all right well, cookies will be out in eight minutes. Eight minutes we got for the cookies. I'll get my hamburger started here for this one. And yes, I will wash my hands in between hamburger and cookies. I don't want no contamination going on. So, oh, hamburger's still a little froze. But we're going to get this ready for the, yeah, I didn't ever use the spoon, but then it kept boiling over on me. I'm like, ah, oh. and then I remember my grandmother telling me, put a wooden spoon over it. It won't boil over. Well, she was right. All right. Got the hamburger in here. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, we're going to salt and pepper it, so we're going to dash of salt, dash of some pepper, and I love my pepper, I'll tell you that, and then we're going to turn it on low, and we're going to cover it so it keeps the moisture in so the hamburger will cook. No, I don't think that's the right lid. Where is that lid? Maybe. Nope, not the right lid. Oh my god. Where is my lid? Oh, I see it. It's down here. There 
There we go. I found my lid. Okay. So we're going to let that cook. we got six minutes on the cookies, y'all. Now, uh, the noodles I use... are rigatoni noodles. These are the noodles I use for my goulash. So those will be used for the goulash. Oh, the stewed tomatoes too. Can't forget those. Okay, stewed tomatoes is Diofranatelli, Italian, mixed with Great value Italian stew. That way it's not too spicy because you don't want your goulash too spicy. Yeah, I'm not a salt person either. I don't care for salt either. But the only thing I like my salt on, Deborah, is my watermelon. Gotta have salt on the watermelon. Love the watermelon. I can eat it every day. So as soon as the water, oh, I didn't even start that water. Look, wrong one. All right, so as that water gets boiling, we'll put the noodles in there. We've got five minutes on the cookies. <clears throat> Hopefully soon, and then they'll come out nice, and I'll show you what they're like. Got to have a drink. So what's everybody out there having for dinner tonight? I love to cook and bake. Ooh, they're looking good. Cookies are looking good. Almost ready. I'll break one open for you, too, so you can see it. Where is my... Oh, I need my cookie rack to cool them. <coughs> there we go. Cookie rack. So we can cool the cookies. Oh, maybe we better put it over here. I tell you, I made Rice Krispie treats the other night. They didn't pack together, but they tasted like Rice Krispies. They just didn't pack together. I don't know. I must have used too much uh, marshmallows. I think two things in this world I cannot cook so far. And that's Rice Krispie Treats and Jell-O. Ain't that weird? I cannot cook Jell-O. Can't do it to save my life. I can cook just about everything else, though. Just not Rice Krispie Treats and Jell-O. Those two things I cannot cook. Okay, we got three minutes left. And the way they're looking, I might pull them out a minute or so early. Because they're looking pretty cooked. Yeah, I think those are about done. Almost. Almost, almost done. Hamburgers cooking up. <laughs> it's going to be good. I love goulash so much. I think the only one of my kids that like goulash is my son. I don't think my daughter would like goulash too much. <laughs> Well, come on down. You can have dinner with me, too. I don't mind. All right, two minutes left. And we're all going to pull the cookies out. I am not a patient person. Everybody realize that? I don't like waiting, waiting, and waiting. Anybody got snow out where they're at? Our day is pretty nice today. A little windy, a little chilly, but not bad. I wish it was warmer. First day of spring the other day was not too good. Okay, that's cooking up. One minute left. Yay! As soon as it beeps, we will get those cookies out, and you can see them. Oh, I have to move the camera again. One minute, one minute, one minute. Okay, I'm going to turn 
this way. Hopefully the camera don't fall because I want you guys to see the cookies. It's getting ready to beep off here in about 40 seconds. Then you guys can see what the cookies look like inside too because I'll break one open for you. There we go. Alright, let's break one out here. Here's the cookies. They look good, don't they? Ooh, pan's hot. Alright, spatula. Oh, I forgot this spatula. Hold on, I need another spatula. Oh. Alright. Here we go. Got the big spatula. I shouldn't have got the big spatula. And I'll get one on a little plate too so you can see what they uh, look like broken open. God, they smell so good. Can you guys see those? I definitely got to get a better camera, that's for sure. This camera just does not rotate enough for me. These last few cookies off of here. I put my pan over here. And then grab a little paper plate. All right. So you guys can see the cookies. You see that plate? Okay. Now, we're hot, 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 hot. Okay, this is gonna be one of the cookies. See, nice and moist and juicy. Oh my God, they're so good. They, they just fall apart. They're so good. Mmm, lovely. Love it. There goes my camera again. Let's see. And the cookies? Those are delicious. Delicious. You have co I don't drink coffee. I only drink Pepsi or water, but you can bring coffee over if you want. That's good. 11 inches of snow. Oh my God, Deborah. I'm glad it's not me. I hate snow so much. I can't stand snow. Don't like snow at all. Oh, this camera's going to drive me nuts. Just absolutely nuts. It does not want to stay where I put it. Ugh. I think... I don't know if you can see anything. This is just ridiculous. This camera's going to drive me bonkers. Alright, well anyway. Cookies are done. i got to make the rest of them over there. But that's how you make cake box chocolate cookies or cake box any kind of cookies. You just box of cake mix, half cup of oil, two eggs, you could put peanuts in it, you put chocolate chips in it, you could put any kind of, uh, any kind you want in it. But the only thing I suggest is, you know those sprinkles that they put on cakes and stuff? Don't do that because they melt everywhere in the cookie and out of the cookie. So those are best just to leave on top of the cookie. Now, is it warm enough to go out now? I don't like snow either. I'm a summer person. I like my summertime. I think the summer is the best. But, I don't know. Some people disagree with me. They like winter. Okay, so anyway. The cookies are done. That's what the inside looks. And they break open, they're nice and gooey. They're really good. Really, really good. But, um, this stupid camera, I tell you, I'm not ready to throw it. Whoop, that's not gonna work. It's gonna fall over. So, anyway, 
that's the cookies. That's how you make box cookies. It's not hard. It's really easy. It doesn't take very long. Golf ball size, 350, about 13 minutes. I guess it really depends on your oven. And I have also noticed that the Copper Chef pans do cook a little faster than regular pans. So I'm making these ones a little bit bigger because so I have some big ones. But anyway, the Copper Chef pans do cook a little bit faster than all your other pans. So if something calls for like, I don't know, 27 minutes. Well, in your Copper Chef pan, you're going to want to go cut three minutes off of that. Because your Copper Chef pan is going to cook faster. Because it cooks more evenly. So, I just wanted to let you guys all know that so you're not, you don't go make some cookies and do what I said and then you wind up burning something. But everything I cook, I cook on Copper Chef. Besides, if I don't, like I don't have saucer pans in Copper Chef yet. I seen one at Walmart. It looked like Copper Chef, but it didn't say Copper Chef, but we're going to try it out. And I do have a lot of Rachel Ray pans, but I don't use those very often either. I use mostly my Copper Chef. Whoop. Dropping chocolate chips everywhere. Okay, so I'm putting the last bit of the cookies on here. Yes, I do found out the first time I need my... Okay, I guess I'm lost in my own conversation, Deborah. They do what? Cook faster? Is that what you're agreeing with me? I wish I could find some um, Copper Chef saucepans and stuff. But, I don't know. I don't know if they, I guess they make them. I think they do, but I haven't found none that actually says Copper Chef. Well, this one's too small to make a cookie. Well, we'll try it. See what happens. Okay, that's it for those cookies. They're going to go in the oven and then they'll be done. My water is not boiling for my noodles yet. I wish that would hurry up. Not a very patient person I'm waiting, I'll tell you I'm not. Okay, let's move you back over here. Um, come on, water boil. I use my 11-inch square copper chef to boil my nose. Well, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. Didn't think about that, Deborah. I should have thought about that. But, um, I don't know. I guess I just want some round ones. Make it easier, I guess. I don't know. I, I never thought about using the square one as boiling. Okay, my hamburger's done. So I'm going to put my stewed tomatoes in with my hamburger to get them heated up. So we're going to open up. Oh, you overcooked your eggs one time? Yeah, that's what I mean. Copper Chef cooks a few minutes faster than regular pans do because it's so even of a heat, I think is the reason why. Alright, let's wait. And no, I do not drain my grease when I make my goulash from my hamburger. I keep the grease in there because it burns off as you go. Especially add these tomatoes. It'll burn off. And I like a lot of tomatoes in my goulash. I know some don't. But I do. I love my tomatoes. Funny thing is, I can't eat tomatoes by themselves. Weird, huh? Alright. There. Got tomatoes in. Let's get them stirred in there. And let them cook up. And if this water would ever boil, I guess I should have used my bigger Copper Chef. And if this water ever gets to boil, then we can get the noodles added in there. Let's add a little bit more pepper. Give it some more flavor to boil in. Cover it. Let it cook. 
we have the noodles. Get the noodles added in here. Get them stirred around so the oil gets on the noodles so they don't stick. All right, and let's let them boil. Yeah, saucer would be better, but yeah, that's a good idea. I should have used my square one for the pot, but I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about that. It's a good idea. I'll have to remember that. You hate tomatoes? So you don't put tomatoes in your goulash, Deborah? I'll eat tomatoes, just not. You know how you see people take a tomato and put salt on it and just start eating it? I can't do that. I can eat tomatoes in my food, on my sandwiches, anything like that, but just not by themselves. I, I can't do that. Ugh, that's too much tomato. And I'm going to put these cookies in my cake dish over there is what I'm going to do while this is all cooking. So let's get a plate. I need to go buy some paper plates and run alone. Since these cookies here are cooled off, we're going to walk over here. and put them in my cake pan. Yeah, I use this cake pan for cookies, cakes, brownies, whatever. It holds. I put them in there. And I bought that at Walmart too. I think it was like 12 bucks. Something like that. There. Then we'll just put the lid back on it. And they're all in there. Well, not all of them. The rest are still in the oven. Yeah, that's what I say. I don't like eating tomatoes like that. That's disgusting. Well, all we gotta do is wait on the noodles. And, uh, doulash will be done once we mix it together. And then we'll be all done. Yeah, I'm eating one of the cookies. So good. I love them. Okay, um, I guess tomorrow I'll go to the store and buy stuff to make the cake. Because on the package it was saying I need Dutch cocoa and a few other things I don't have that I thought I had. And um, we'll make a cake with that uh, baking powder cake flour stuff tomorrow. Um, since I have to go back to work Monday. Okay. Um, it's going to take a while for the noodles to boil. Once they boil, we'll mix this all together. And then I'll post a picture up on Facebook of what dinner looks like. I appreciate y'all sticking with me. And thanks to you, Deborah. You're awesome. I wish you lived closer, too, because we could cook together and bake together and have fun. Stay warm, and we'll see y'all in a few minutes. Much love.